guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I'm very excited to be in Montreal. I'm staying with Max and we have such a gorgeous week of weather ahead of us. I wanted to pick up my camera, take you guys along with me. Today, it's absolutely stunning. I am in a sweatshirt, but I'm just leaning into the cozy fall vibes. The leaves are turning, but there's not a cloud in the sky. It's like 75 and sunny. Just a perfect day. So I had a very chill morning. I had my coffee, did some reading, enjoyed some fresh air on the balcony. It's so nice to have a balcony. Like it's truly just the best thing ever. Um, so I was enjoying that, but now I wanna get out and take a little walk, maybe get some juice, um, yeah, run some errands. So we'll see what I stumble upon, but welcome back to another vlog and let's get into it. wear this together but as you guys saw I stopped at the thrift store I put the name of it because I can't remember off the top of my head but I got these vintage Levi's and this vintage like race car tank I don't know I thought it was cute and the store was fun and I'm actually really happy about these jeans I've been wanting some like low-waisted baggy light wash vintage Levi's so these are perfect mm. so where did I leave them last I left <laughs> I left you guys I was trying on the new clothes that I thrifted um, and before that I just finished a workout <laughs> okay so stop so last I left you guys I tried on the clothes that I just thrifted I also did a workout um, before that, and then I met up with some of Max's friends at Jean Mons. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! What? I don't even know if it's rec yeah, it's recording. My battery's dead though. Yeah, but it says 27, 28, 29. Oh. Um, Wrap it up, honey. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, and then I can't. I just got home after the sunset. It got chilly, and then I made Max and I dinner. But really, I just reheated some leftovers. No, you didn't. You did so good. It was good. It was falafel with eggplant hummus, tahini, and pita. Mm hmm And tabbouleh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, now we're watching Suits, and that's it for this Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
<laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, October 3rd, National Boyfriend Day. It's another gorgeous, gorgeous day in Montreal. We have the doors wide open. As you can tell, don't mind the sounds of traffic. But once again, there's not a cloud in the sky. We're just gonna go for a walk. I woke up this morning, had my coffee, did my emails, did the routine, took a shower. Um, this is the outfit. I need more shoes here. I didn't bring enough shoes. It is so much warmer than I expected it to be and I'm not complaining because I know that it's going to get cold very quickly here and it's going to be very brutal. So I'm enjoying every last second with the sun that we get, but I am sweating. So let's go have a good day. It's like too big to show you guys. But I always get the poulet panko. No, that's not true. Not always. But I got the poulet panko today. And it's one of the best chicken cutlets I've ever had. I love the sandwich. It's so good. <gasps> yeah. Yay! We just stopped at Toledo Boulangerie. This is how you tell it's good. Look. That's the plate. Wait, wait, wait. That's the plate. Yes. Alright, we got this. All the first on. Look. Burning all of our Alright, that means it's good. I know. Two baguettes. And then two baguettes. Mm mm mm. Mm hmm. at the fabric store because Max has been working on a semester long project where he's making a series of a table, a chair, and a lamp I believe. And for his chair he has very specific fabric that he wants in mind. This is the designer, manufacturer, creator. Um, so we're fabric shopping because fabric is more expensive than we thought. To show you guys, I stopped at Jean Coutu, which is like the Walgreens here. Um, Max is at the gym, and then I also stopped at the SAQ right there, which is like the wine store. They have their own, it's like a liquor store, but it's called the SAQ. Um, and now I'm just walking home. Oh, we also stopped and got some sausages for dinner tonight. So, yeah, just a few errands. One thing about Montreal that I need to remember before I get in trouble is that you can literally get arrested for jaywalking which is crossing the street when it's not like your signal and it's really easy to do here because the streets are so much more quieter than New York and I know it's bad but I did that all the time in New York so it's hard to get used to um, but I think people do it all the time. guys what's up it's Wednesday I have my workout clothes on and I'm sitting on the balcony right now another gorgeous day it's actually I think like 83 degrees here today and super sunny once again not a cloud in the sky I don't know how I got so lucky with this weather but I'm enjoying it and I ran some errands earlier um, now I'm just gonna clean up the apartment I think it needs a good deep clean um, like vacuum the floors, probably clean the kitchen and the bathroom, but we'll see how far I get. Um, I've been doing work from home all day also, and I have my acting class later tonight, so I'm gonna rehearse my script and just prepare myself for my six to nine acting Zoom class that I do every week, and I love it so, so much. Um, and then I also, I wanna get a workout in today and decide what Oh, actually, I already know what we're making for dinner. We're making, like, peanut noodles, like, Thai. So, 
Very fun day ahead, um, just getting a lot of work done, trying to be productive, and enjoying this gorgeous Wednesday. No! No! Oh, huge bee almost just trying to come in here. I love kombucha, but I've never tried this brand. I always have like the health aid and I like the pink apple berry or the pomegranate because they literally taste like apple juice. This one is like hibiscus and vanilla. It's still very good. My stomach was hurting, so I needed kombucha, but I don't know if I love this. I might need to find my health aid. I miss it. Close the job though. up not too long ago had some coffee did a little bit of work and I wanted to do a hair mask so I wanted to show you guys the one I've been using this is matrix food for soft um, I have the whole line the shampoo conditioner the hair oil and I personally really like it it smells so good and I've been trying to incorporate hair masks like into my weekly routine just to see if it helps my hair um, grow faster, get thicker, just stay hydrated. So I usually just take a good amount, run it through my hands, and just lather it all, all over my hair. I didn't shower yet, I just wet my entire head under the sink, brushed it through, and now I'm going to let this sit while I do some more work from home and just reset the apartment for the weekend. 
Um, I'll probably let this sit for a couple hours and then it's hair wash day so I'll rinse it all off, wash it all out, and style it for later. And a little clip. And that should be good. I just took a shower, cleaned up the apartment, and put a laundry... Ugh. After doing some work and having a little morning stretch, I vacuumed and cleaned up the apartment, took a shower, and put a load of laundry in the washer, and now I, I also did a face mask, I forgot about that. Um, my skin has not been not been doing its best lately, so I'm trying to drink a lot of water and just be mindful about what products I'm putting on, but I want to do a teeth whitening strip. I've used these before. This is, I'll show you guys, the Lumineu. They're just a simple strip. Okay, I have the top one on. They go on very easily, but they slide around and it's hard to talk with them on. Um, oh wait, am I? Mm, this way. Oh my gosh, my camera keeps falling, but these are the whitening strips that I'm using, the Lumineu, um, and I just leave them on, wait, I think Oh yeah, I, I leave these on for like 30 minutes, but honestly, I don't always end up lasting the whole time because it's hard to do anything. Anyway, so I'm going to let these sit. I sound so funny. I'll see you guys. I finished whitening my teeth and I actually got caught up on the computer because I found out I got a call back. So I will be traveling back to New York next week within the next couple days. Um, yeah, so that's really exciting news, but I wanted to show you guys my skin Like I mentioned I did a face mask today because my skin has been horrible But I stopped at Pharma Pre the other day and I've been using this ointment for a few days It's the Benzagel 5 acne gel um, With benzoyl peroxide. I believe it's Canadian a Canadian brand um, and it's really strong it like dried out this huge pimple and just helps maintain um, like the spots of pimples that I get so if you live in Canada and you're watching this or you have this product near you maybe you can order it online I have no idea I found it at the like pharmacy um, but I like it so so far so good <laughs>